Oh my god, it's taking the what? Oh! I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? Oh, he just stopped on you! Oh! Shit, you made it. What the fuck? Oh, the floor is red. Why is it? The floor is lava! <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Snaps here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys another Destiny 2 video. And you guys are like, wait, Snipes, are you bringing two videos back to back? Yeah, I did. That means I'm back. I'm happy to be back. And I'm happy that a lot of you guys didn't ditch me, man. I appreciate it. I really do. We're back. New content. And I know the Destiny 2 beta doesn't got too much content to offer. But with the clip you saw in the beginning of the video, yeah, this strike was a freaking blast. The floor is lava challenge. Atheon's brother looking cool as hell. Glowing different colors like it's a rave. I had a blast with the strike. I want to know what you guys think about the Destiny 2 beta. So in this video, I'm going to be giving away one pair of Destiny 2 two control freaks you guys can simply enter by commenting down below what you think of the destiny 2 beta and dropping a like on this video make sure to subscribe if you haven't and the winner will be direct messaged on youtube so let's make it happen man i'm gonna be coming back with some more giveaways we're gonna be doing a lot of giveaways on twitter as well so please do follow us on twitter if you haven't all the links are in the description below and man this strike was a blast i know the weapons aren't that great there's only two pvp playlists and one strike to go about not a lot of drops in terms of loot i keep getting the same freaking weapon been over and over again i'm gonna take this time to talk to you guys about some insightful information about the destiny 2 beta and my opinion on what is happening so i think that they probably put the best strike in the beta because i had a blast with the strike because they want people to get hyped and be like oh the story is going to be so cool and honestly i do think the destiny 2 story is going to be better than destiny 1 story so that's something to look forward to let's quickly talk about the biggest changes that i've noticed when it comes to destiny 1 versus destiny 2 i know a lot of you guys saw that in the video title and you're like okay i'm curious as to what snipes thinks i'm curious as to what you guys think so let me know in the comments down below now number one is actually there's a lot of things let me just go and just tackle it you get your super much much slower than you do in destiny 1 it's just crazy to me in pvp you'll get like one super if that by the end of the game uh orbs don't give you too much is what i'm noticing uh, your abilities like grenades take forever to recharge and of course everything that we have right now isn't upgraded um, we can have better armor that helps with that we can have you know some additional perks that help with that so I understand this is just the beta that Nova bomb that you'll see me throw is the slowest thing in the world but it tracks like a monster so don't don't forget that um, the next thing is the time to kill the time to kill has slowed down not only in pve but also in pvp now it could be because the light is so low in terms of pve but pvp the time to kill is much much slower mobility is just so annoying you can't move around the map as fast as you used to be able to uh kind of slows down the overall gameplay i know a lot of the things i'm telling you guys kind of sound like negatives but i don't want you guys to think that because what it is is we have developed a habit uh and kind of become comfortable with the way destiny 1 is so it's kind of hard to go and become neutral in uh destiny 2 especially during the beta so just remember that the more you play it the more it'll grow on you because you have to take it on as a new game even though it does look very similar to destiny 1 visually you still got to go forth and you got to you know take it on as a new game because that is what it is it's a brand new game um the next thing i want to talk to you guys about is um the playlist now we do have a search and destroy playlist now countdown um there's just one thing i don't like about it it's the fact that uh or two things i guess one that anybody can go and plant the bomb right that's pretty much what it is anybody can do it um whereas in call of duty because i mean obviously let's make a direct connection with that if you're going to copy or take another game's idea of a game type um then you should just simply do the way it worked i'm not saying that this doesn't work but i kind of like the fact that one person was going to be playing soul objective now that's not the big thing that bugs me the big thing that bugs me is the fact that the time it takes to arm the bomb is so much faster than the time it takes to disarm the bomb i think that that needs to change i, I don't know why that is the way it is 
Um, and then other than that, that's pretty much the things that I saw that were different. What do you guys think? I think the weapons is just too soon to talk on. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. There'll be more videos coming, guys. And make sure you guys go and follow us on Twitch. We do have a sub button now. And make sure you check out some other videos. And hit subscribe if you haven't. I love you guys so much. It's very nice to be back. And I love that you guys are still here as well. Let's keep growing this family. Tell your friends. Share the videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.